A couple of months ago, Hacking with Swift served up its 25 millionth page view, so I thought it was time for a site refresh. Let's take a look at what's changed. First, you can see the home page shows you this nice and big search box to help you find stuff really easily. Plus, there's another search box in the top right corner of every page. And this searches every article on the site, so it's easier than ever to find what you're looking for. I'll say uh, refactor view controller, hit search, and boom, there's responses clearly highlighted. If you want to save time, you can also just go to your URL, hackers.com slash your search. So I'll just do XC test, for example, and press return, and boom, there's a the search result for XC test really, really quickly. Another new change is, well, it's probably best for to show you, if you have dark mode enabled on macOS or iOS, that is now respected on the site, as you can see, with this lovely new dark mode theme that works everywhere in any part of the site. So you'll see code looks great as well, with syntax highlighting in dark mode. Now back on the homepage again, you'll see below the search box are these three key boxes here. And these are the major learning paths people come to the site for, to learn Swift, to find answers, or to build their career. And these are directly straight to those pieces of content to save you time. For example, this learning section here lists all the free Swift and iOS tutorials I have, including the 100 Days of Swift, then example code, then Swift UI by example, lots of popular articles, unwrap, and much, much more. And all this stuff, as you can see, is clearly marked out free, free, free. Everything here is completely free. About 2,000 pages of content now, completely free, all on the site. Plus, there's this new videos tab showing you my most popular videos from YouTube. Again, they're grouped nicely, as so you can see Swift UIs here, then Swift on Sundays, uh, X on 20 seconds, and similar, plus buttons to see the full playlist. So you can get around the many, many hundreds of videos I've put on YouTube in the last year right from that page. In this careers tab, also new, you'll see a new test your Swift link. And this thing uh, lists the old be the compiler test, but also spot the error, rearrange the lines, skills assessments, interactive review, uh, interview prep, and much, much more. It's a huge collection of tests to help you really figure out your weak spots in Swift and practice and hone those core skills. Over in the article section, we've changed some things here too. So the most popular article, the newest one, is nice and big on the page. Boom, there we go. Plus other ones below, and it's showing way, way more articles now. I think it's about 50 per page now to help you find stuff more easily. You'll also see above the uh, title of these things are the categories. So you'll see here we have evolution or tips or code and similar. And we press that, it'll filter by category, so you see all my code things back to back. And when you choose an article like this, it'll jump straight to the article page and you can read through again, all in dark mode. But notice I'm saying here, I'm clicking on these things and it's loading immediately. There's been a huge, huge improvement in site speed now thanks to a massive software and hardware upgrade. These pages now load eight to 10 times faster than before. It's basically instant as you're clicking around. So let's go here and boom, it just pops in straight away. So that's the refresh site, I hope you enjoy it. But for me now, it's back to writing about Swift.